Hi everyone, it's Nisha. So as you know, I absolutely love shimmer eyeshadows on my mobile lid. But you might have heard that if you have mature eyes, you shouldn't be using shimmer, just matte. First of all, you use whatever you like. You do you. If you love it, it makes you feel good. There is no rules. But because of that, I thought I'd do an experiment and I will do the same eye look, but on one eye I will apply matte eyeshadow on my mobile lid, on, on the other one, really shimmery one. And you can be the judge which one is better or doesn't matter. There is some truth to it. So, you know when I always talk to you about shade and light, when we hide in the hoods, yes, matte dark eyeshadow is much better to put on on, in places that you want to hide and push back. Anything shimmery will emphasize things. So for example, if you've got a lot of pores, open pores or texture here, and you apply shimmery highlighter, it will only emphasize that texture and the pores. So obviously with mature eyes, our lids are all crepey, not smooth, not very tight. So according to that rule, the shimmer will emphasize it, but we will see. So this is not about specific eyeshadows. I just had to find a shimmer and a matte. They were quite similar. So the actually the products that I'm using, I don't think are available, but that doesn't matter. One thing you need to remember, if you're choosing a matte eyeshadow to go on your mobile lid, needs to be quite bright, light, because obviously when we talk about mature eyes, they're usually hooded as well, and we want to brighten up this area. Uh, one that, that's got quite good saturation, not like a veil, veil of color, one that gives a good punch. So for example, if you want like a beige mobile lid, then for example, MAC Blanc type is amazing. It's got such good coverage. Um, I have here those of colors, Marvelous Mauve's palette. Maybe you can still get, get it somewhere. And here it's like a pale lilac. So when I put my finger in it, look at the saturation of it. And when I put it on my hand, you can actually really see it and then if you build it up it's just amazing so you need something dense pigmented but bright and light when you're choosing your matte eyeshadow uh, for shimmer gosh look at this old thing these are makeup geek eyeshadows and i think this will be similar because this is very lilac -y, just like the matte one yeah that was whimsical and i also wanted quite strong almost foiled eyeshadow as my shimmer because the more shimmery eyeshadow is the more it will show up in perfection so what I will do now, I will just do my matte shadows when I, you know, the usual way when I do crease and here on the side and I will come back and we will do then the matte and the shimmer on my mobile lid. This is not like a makeup tutorial. If you are interested in any of my hooded eye makeup tutorials, I will link it here. This is just to see the difference between the matte and shimmer. Okay, so I have a rough template now and I'm going to apply the matte light lilac eyeshadow on this mobile lid. Okay. 
you see how pigmented it is you can really see it and I'm going to build it up and this looks really lovely and smooth and now we are going to do the other eye with the shimmer I might even wet that brush oh no this one I forgot doesn't need it I used to love those foiled eyeshadows from Makeup Geek but there is no Makeup Geek anymore but I will wet my brush because I want it to be very very shimmery so you know if there is something to emphasize we can really see it okay so that's applied let me zoom you in and then I will go and finish my makeup so as you can see you can still probably see the lines and everything but definitely on the shimmery one you can see more of the texture and the crepiness and the little lines much more than on the matte side matte side is much smoother yes you definitely definitely see more of a texture on on the shimmer side okay let me finish that makeup off now and i will put my lashes on and everything and we have a look at it again Okay, that's the finished look, so let's zoom in again. So definitely the matte side is smoother, you don't really see all the little crepey wrinkles, crinkles, but you do see it on, um, on the shimmer one. But I think I prefer the shimmer one because of the shimmer, the light bounces off of it and it's much brighter. Um, I feel like it opens up my eye more. I just prefer it. So yes, it's true that the shimmer will emphasize all this imperfection, but doesn't matter so much. No one really comes up that close to you and examines your eyes. Yes, I know we are very critical of ourselves. So we see every imperfection, but I don't know. You are like away from me probably foot maybe a bit more I don't think you can really see those imperfections that well so it's up to you now let me know in the comments which one do you prefer shimmer or the matte does it matter to you do you like shimmer or do you prefer wearing mattes I will never use shimmer obviously up here because my eyes are quite hooded and downturned and if I put something shimmery that will emphasize it although if I had very very dark shimmer and not too foily you can get away with it okay my lovelies I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous bye